next step, which is being the official partner of, uh, of the Kentucky Speedway and putting that 2018 Camry out in front of the field when they go racing at Kentucky Speedway. It'll be the best experience that uh, our race fans have ever had via a sponsor. One more time around the mile and a half. Christopher Bell wins at Kentucky. All the Camrys are built over here in Kentucky, so uh, it's kind of a home track win for Toyota too, so it's, uh, it's a really cool place to win. Bush takes the spot away from Blaney, and now they all go down to the yellow line. Three wide for the lead. Kyle Bush comes out of turn four. He's going to win at Kentucky again. Matt Bevin, who's going to be the honorary pace car driver for the Quaker State 400. How does that sound? It's like a dream come true for anybody who loves racing. Uh, it's a tremendous honor and I'm truly grateful to Toyota and to the Speedway for making this possible. Having the governor of Kentucky come in on the bottom of a Black Hawk helicopter to bring the green flag, that tops all of them. That's the way we do things in Kentucky, a little something extra. goes to Kyle Busch on the outside. He made that outside line work. Kozlowski goes around. Clint Boyer goes around. Jimmy Johnson got into the wall. Kurt Busch is smoking by the start finish line. It looks like he's blowing up. Here comes Truex. He's got the field in his rear view mirror. Martin Truex Jr. will win for the first time at the Speedway in his third win of the season. Yeah, I mean, it's huge to win here. I mean, for so many reasons, uh, Toyota being down the street, it's, you know, their, their plant. There's so many people that work there that come to this race, and uh, Toyota does so much for our race teams, and it's such a big part of what we do. All those reasons make it special, but uh, definitely, uh, you know, awesome cars and awesome people that work right here in the USA building, building Toyotas, and uh, we're definitely proud to win in Kentucky for them.